<laughs> There's a snake in the boat. <laughs> There's a snake in the boat. Pushed off the beach, we're headed to our new spot, probably like 30 miles or so down the coast in a straight line uh, to Estero Bay area, somewhere over there at least. It's gonna be light wind offshore in the beginning of the day. It's supposed to die a bit and then kind of pick up and, and be on our beam because we're gonna turn in on our way back in towards the coast after Sanibel. So hopefully it's not dead for too long and we can just continue to sail the whole way. We'll probably put the screecher up just to help us along in lighter wind. The most picture perfect spot you can imagine over here, just beautiful. We're sailing! Jetty, we're sailing! Woo! The engine's off! You love when the engine's off, huh? Good girl! It's gonna be a slow day until the wind picks back up. We got some better wind than we thought. We're flying the Screecher. I like close reaching, so we got the jib out just experimenting with that, having both the Screecher and the jib out. And it's working pretty good. I think we gained a little bit of speed with that jib out as well. It's cruising along at like seven knots. Basically no wind. Beautiful out. Water's clear. We're seeing dolphins. Just trying to avoid some of the crab pots around here. It went away. There was a fire off that island over there, it looked like. It's sunny, it's warm, and the water's cool. I don't think we can complain. <laughs> There's a snake in the boat. <laughs> There's a snake in the boat. What kind of snake is it? I don't know, but I want to know. Lucky you didn't crawl into bed last night. Yeah, and they can just slither into bed. Ooh. You want to save him? Well, I don't really want to transport him. That's I hope he's not poisonous. Or shall I say, venomous. The wind died on us. That's, yep. how we, that's how we saw there was a snake down there because I just put the engine down. We are going 1.4 knots. <laughs> we'll pick back up. Yeah, he had to swim to get there so he can swim back to shore. I don't want him on the boat, but I also don't want him to die. How do you think he got here? You think he fell from a tree? Or you think he swam up the back deck? I think he probably swam right up there. Oh, what? Okay, people, please comment if you are snake Daddy. experts and tell us what kind of snake that is and how you think he got here. <laughs> there he goes. He's like down. He went down there. There he is. 
Whoa, that definitely comfortable out there in the water. All right, snake free. Are you happy? He's chasing us, and we certainly can't outrun him with his speed. <laughs> Can you imagine if I like, put my hand down there? Can you imagine if that came in our bed? <laughs> imagine like if our bed it? is right there and that hatch is open at night. I just posted on Instagram story, so we'll see if anyone says they know what kind he is and if he's venomous. Okay, but no, let's show them where he was and where the hatch to our bed That's is. where he was. And we have this hatch open at night oh, right above our bunk. He would have slithered down on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Got the wind back, we're sailing again. Probably like 10 or 15 miles away. In a little bit, we'll, we'll drive back in that direction and head around Sanibel and uh, into Estero Bay, Fort Myers Beach area. Beautiful out, so nice. I found a better helm position so I'm locked from the sun. It really couldn't get any calmer, which is so nice. We did not bring our big trolling rods and reels because we just didn't have room um, and we didn't have a good place to store them. However, we did bring our hand line because it's super tiny and can fit anywhere and Billy just set it up and he's about to go down. What do you plan on catching? Spanish mackerel. Felt something. I got something! <laughs> like seven, eight knots now. They got some teeth on them, man. Look at those things. Are you going back for more? Yeah, we need another one. That's perfect size. We just need one more. And then one for Jetty. Woo, I can't believe we caught a fish. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> that just kind of proves to us those nice rods and stuff we have, like, yeah, they're great, but they're not necessary. Not necessary at all. Big shout out to Abo and Brandy because they got us all the braid for this yo-yo and Billy's wearing their shirt, so they brought us good luck today. We miss our friends, so shout out to them. Today is the day we see the green flash. It's a perfect, perfect sunset for it. Nice and clear. Let's you see, see the horizon. Come on, turn green, baby. I guess today wasn't the day. <laughs> one of these days. One There's of these days. There's always tomorrow. <laughs> there is always tomorrow. We have had an amazing day just cruising along. We gotta fillet this fish and uh, pick it up. What we get soon? We're going in this pass called, what's it called? San, Big Carlos Pass or something? Yeah. Probably shouldn't be getting there after sunset, but we are. Um, right, but it's right next to a state park, so I think we're just gonna anchor like right next to a state park and probably like right on the beach again. Hopefully we don't get any snakes climbing in our boat to the thing. And then we're gonna make popcorn and play cards.
All right, we're anchored at this super cool spot right on the beach here. I'm literally standing on the stern of the boat on the sand. We're just gonna fillet this fish up here. They're a little bit of oily fish. So I think most people bake or broil or smoke or fry them. Well, you wanna see the fish? <laughs> Our only option here on the boat is to fry it. Filleting skills might be a little rusty. I haven't done this in a while. I can't believe we caught a fish. I thought we were going too fast. Jenny probably wants a bite of raw fish. That's why she's sneaking in here. I just read that these fish have some of the highest omega-3 fatty acids, which is that good kind of fatty acid. Solid little flavor for this little tiny thing. Cool colors on these Spanish mackerel, huh? All the yellow, like the yellow spots. Here you go, I'll fillet it up. I have to make it, I'm already cooking, but I'm not doing your dishes. No, I gotta make it, I caught it, I cleaned it, I gotta cook it. Okay, well you still have to do all these dishes. But I caught the fish. <laughs> Sierra's making delicious pasta. I'll do the dishes, my love. Don't you know mermaids don't do dishes? <laughs> it's on our dish towel. <laughs> Sear up this fish to go with it in a minute here. Probably just some butter and Old Bay. Coconut oil? Yeah, fry it. Sear it. Nah. Butter and Old Bay. Coconut oil is not Italian. Neither is Old Bay. <laughs> Where is Old Bay? Oh, I might not have brought Old Bay. Oh, uh, really? Should just make something up? All right. Oh yeah. Listen to that sizzle. All right, we'll make up our own old bay. We'll do a little black pepper. We'll do some garlic salt here. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, chili powder? I think that might be an old bay. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Here's old day. Oh, I know I did it. Okay. Celery salt, red pepper, black pepper, and paprika. Okay. Chili powder is basically paprika, isn't it? There we go. Wanna get it in slow motion? Now you have to. straight from the sea. Oh, we had a great day today. We're gonna meet up with some of our friends tomorrow. Probably won't film anything. Just gonna catch up and hang out with some old friends from Long Island. And then we'll get back on the move. I don't know, we'll probably explore the state park a little bit. We're, we're anchored like right off the state park. A really, really neat spot. We'll probably go for a run and stuff and hang out here tomorrow. And then the next day, Sunday or Monday, probably cruise 25 miles down to Marco Island, which is our next spot. And I think there's gonna be really cool anchorage over there for us because we got such a shallow draft, we can tuck in behind Tiger Tail Beach. And if with any luck, we'll get some wind and be able to kiteboard back there or in front of there. Hmm. Wow, it's so, it doesn't taste fishy or oily at all. It's like, maybe it's the oil, like the oils that are making it moist, but it's like really, really moist. Wow. And then obviously Old Bay flavor. Okay, good night, folks. Mm -hmm.